Hey guys, and here it is. Here is our July 2014 TCG ban list. I've already looked at it, and to tell you the truth, it's a really boring list. Like, there's, a, there's, a, I'm, I'm okay with it. I just wish that there was a little bit more because you know some things weren't fixed. But I predicted that some things wouldn't be fixed. So, uh, this list is only like two months and a half. So, you know, we got a lot of things uh, to fix on the upcoming. Uh, well, I guess it would be uh, since it's September 30th. I guess it'd be October list. So, uh, for banned cards, we got nothing. Nothing was banned. Uh, nothing really deserved to be banned except for Soul Charge, but, you know, if they wanted to go ahead and put that card down to one, I wouldn't be surprised. So, uh, nope, nothing was banned. To one, to one, we see the return of Goyo Guardian. And if you guys are thinking, like, oh, Goyo Guardian, I'm banned, I'm going to hop on it, I'm going to buy them for cheap, and then they're already about $25. So, uh, yeah, you kind of missed the jump. You know, you should have predicted it. Uh, me, on the other hand, I'm sitting okay. I actually bought a Goyo Guardian back when, a couple of lists ago, when, you know, Mega Capital was like, oh, Goyo's gonna get unbanned. And so I was like, okay, so I bought one for like five bucks, and then the hype train left the station, and it shot up like 50 bucks, and then it didn't get unbanned. So I ended up buying a Goyo Guardian for five dollars, and it kind of just sat on my shelf. So I got a Goyo Guardian, I'm not gonna use it, might let my friend borrow it, but, uh, Goyo Guardian unbanned, you know, I guess they're like, well, if, uh, you know, Big Eye is fine, and I guess Goyo Guardian is fine, too. I kind of feel like this one was kind of a money play on Konami's part, TZG-wise. Uh, as you guys know, we have that uh, that 5Ds world coming out with, you know, the reprint of Quasar and the reprint of uh, Black Rose. So, will we see a reprint of Goyo Guardian in that set? Mm, I don't know. Maybe boost up a little Synchros? Hype it up? Hype it up? I can see it, Konami. You know, I should have predicted it. That was the easy one. I should have called that one, but eh, I didn't, so... Uh, and, uh, next Gear 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 to 1, I called that, I called Gear 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 to going down to 1. Uh, thought maybe Konami was gonna try to throw a curb at, ball at us and maybe do, uh, uh, Gear Gear armor, but they decided Gear Gear Gear, so, um, at least Gear Gear is finally on the list, so, you know, now we know that Konami is not trying to not hit that deck, that, you know, that it has nothing to do with the whole cards that, you know, like Augur and the, you know, the, the rank three, the new rank three, and MK3, none of that, you know, they're not afraid to hit the deck now, we know, so Gear 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 down to one, um, I still say the deck is still a really good deck, even with Gear 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 down to one, just lower the consistency, you open up with that broke ass card, so, now when they open up with it, and they get you with it, it feels kind of sacky, but hey, at least it's only at one, at least it's not as consistent, so, I guess, Alright, and that is our limited cards. That's it. I told you, this list is really a boring list. It's really safe, and I should have predicted that from Konami. Not a lot of cards moved. So let's go ahead and move on to the semi-limited section. So semi-limited section. Uh, we got Magician of Faith going up to two. Okay. Um, me personally, I wasn't really a big fan of Magician of Faith going back up, but, you know, it's just slow. No one was playing it. So they're, they're going with the whole Tsukiyomi thing. So if it doesn't get played this format, don't be surprised that in October, it goes up to three. You know? Uh, so, Magician of Faith up to two, so if anybody wants to play two Magician of Faith, go ahead, you know, all of our uh, really broken spell cards are still gone, so unless you want to grab Dark Hole three times, or Book of Moon three times, then, you know, be my guest, still a slow card. Uh, then we got Formula Synchron that was limited back up to two, alright, so, like I said, this whole 5Ds thing, is that trying to get money in your pocket, Konami, is that it, you know, because no one was playing Formula Synchron, but now uh, they went ahead and bumped it up to two, you know, um, I guess, you can, in Formula Synchron, I don't care, as long as you don't put, uh, TG Hyper Librarian, that is the broke motherfucker, alright, so, Formula Synchron, sure, TG Hyper Librarian, whatever, you know, they even got that new, uh, Synchro Tuner guy that came out in Primal Origins anyway, so, and he can change his level, Formula Synchron can't, so, sure, why not, you know, I wouldn't even be surprised if that card went up to three, who cares, alright, and, uh, up to two, Rhoda, Rhoda, I called this one last prediction. I didn't call it this one last prediction. I called it. Didn't have been kind of gave up on it. But yeah, Rhoda is up to two. All right. So um, I'm happy about that. You know, it works in all my decks. Uh, you know, I play Constellar. So Rhoda to two. Grab me another Pollux. Awesome. Uh, Rhoda to two in my Yubel deck. Armageddon Knight and Dark Greffer. More consistent. Awesome. I don't mind that at all. Um. Uh, I can definitely see where they're going, maybe with Rota with a little bit of Synchros, but maybe trying to promote their Noble Knights a little bit more, as I can clearly see, Noble Knights can't do it without the Rota, so they feel like, you know what, maybe pushing Rota up to 2 might be enough for Noble Knights to actually do something, so Rota up to 2. I called it last list, not this one, because I just kind of gave up, gave up on it, like I gave up on a lot of cards, so, uh, okay, Rota up to 2. 
and to three, and this is the part where I don't like to three. Mirror Force to three, I personally don't like because I kind of feel like Mirror Force will always kind of be that card that lingers. It's just not really good right now because of the hands, but Mirror Force is up to three. Okay, so yay, more back row. And D Prison up to three. I didn't think D Prison was going to go up to three. I thought D Prison was going to stay at two. I kind of feel like D Prison is way too powerful of a card to be at three, but okay, so this is Konami's way of answering how to battle the hands. D Prison's up to three, guys, so I'd say if you're playing competitively, you might want to run 3D prison because, yeah, hands are still at 3 each. So, despite everybody griping and complaining that the hands should go down 2, I was in kind of, I wasn't griping and complaining, but I was kind of in agreement that, you know, those cards should go down 2. They didn't go down 2, hands up both at 3, so, um, you know, get your D prisons ready. So, instead of, uh, you know, answering the card, Konami decided to give you the answer to the card. So, D prison at 3 with Mirror Force. So, yay, more back row. Thank God I'm moon deck 2 row to crease in my constellers because, yeah, I hate back row. I mean, <sighs> all right, so yeah, attack, attack with Pleiades, D prison. All right, can't even hop out of the way of that or do anything in response to that. That can save me, and you know, no one's playing Lance right now. But I guess we're like, oh, you have fire tap, but whatever. All right, so overall, this land this is boring, really, really just boring. Like nothing crazy, like you know, OCG. If you want a crazy list, look at OCG. This this is boring, boring. It took a while to show it to us too, and this is all we get. Um, any things, things that I, uh, wish was on the list that Konami didn't put on the list. Number one, Soul Charge. Soul Charge is nowhere on this list, it's still at three. I predicted that it wouldn't get hit. Nothing from Primal Origins or Dragon Rule, or Dragons, Primal Origins, Dragons Legends, or the Blush Structure got hit, just like I predicted. Like I said, money. They need that profit margin, so none of those cards got hit. So, uh, you know, we might be seeing those cards get hit maybe in September, but for right, I mean October, but for right now, nope, nope, nope. Uh, so, uh, still got three in Jelly. We still got, you know, three Fire and Dice Hand. We still got Soul Charger three. Artifacts went untouched. Uh, you know, Pat in general just went untouched. So, yeah. Uh, I thought Mermoles were going to get hit, but apparently Konami said, okay, Mermoles are fine, I guess, even though Mermoles are still a very powerful deck and could still be a top tier. Uh, you know, they might even uh, show up again now since uh, Gear Gear hit. You've got to see how good Gear Gear is, how consistent they are now since Gear 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 got hit, but I still feel like they're going to be a top tier deck, but I feel like Mermoles can definitely make a comeback, so I'm surprised they didn't get hit. Nothing Dragon Ruler really got hit. Uh, so, really, we're pretty much in the same format we were last list, so, you know, still had... Steel Gear Gear, if they can still pull it off, it might be a little bit less consistent now since Gear 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 went down to one. But, you know, they didn't really play any of those little uh, Gear Ganos much anyway, so pretty much it was pull off one Gear Gear Gear, and then that was pretty much it. Maybe one or two, but it was never three. They only ran it for consistency, so really all they did was hit the consistency of opening up with it. The card is still very viable. Uh, Marmels are still going to be good. Um... And we're just going to see how these decks compete with, of course, the decks that are coming out in August uh, with uh, Duelist Alliance, you know, with Shadals and the Telenites, you know, no Shockmasters, so the so Telenites aren't as powerful as they are in the OCG. Um, Shadals, well, let's go ahead and see how they uh, jump in the fray, but uh, uh, maybe Noble Knights can do something because Rota went up to two. I don't know. Uh, maybe we can see a little bit of Constellars and Evil Swarms, because Rota went up to two. You know, that helps with uh, searching Pollux and searching uh, Caster, so ups the consistency of those decks. Uh, you know, decks that run uh, the hands, you know, we got Deep Prison at three, so, you know, if they try to come after you, which was, you know, one of the major problems, you know, if you run into the hands, that was kind of your fault, but if the hands come after you, and that's the problem, where you can just go hand, ram into your monster, some pop that, some of this hand, hand that, ram into your card, pop this, some and pop, some and pop, some and pop, that was the problem, but, you know, um, now you got three Deep Prison, so maybe you might have the answer to all them hands, so, we'll just have to see. So, uh, like I said, it's a boring list. Like it's a boring, it's a boring list. So, uh, cards that I would like to see hit that didn't get hit was a Soul Charge, either the one or banned. Uh, Fire and Ice hands to two. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of any hard. Um, anything Mermo related hit? I thought Mermos were gonna get pegged. Um, something Dragon Ruler related, maybe like um, probably not Curry Bandit, maybe like uh, Dragon Shrine or something along those lines. But no, uh, definitely probably my number one card that I wanted to get hit, even more than I wanted it's Soul Charge to get hit. Uh, Black Horn of Heaven, I wanted that card to definitely get hit, and that didn't, so, um, guess gonna roll with the Royal Decrees in my main deck, cause, fuck that, cause, 
Uh, I'm just not a big fan of Black Horner Heaven. I think I don't think that card should be at three. Still is. I'm surprised that Konami didn't notice how powerful that card was this format. I guess they just didn't want to hit it. So Black Horner is still at three. So that's pretty much all I got to say about this list. So tell me what you guys think about this list in the comment section below. Like I said, it was a boring, boring list. We waited all this time for this boring list, but hey, what you gonna do? It's TCG Konami. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support, and I will see you guys. Whenever, I guess, the next ban list prediction or I guess whenever we see any changes or anything like that. So, thanks for watching.